Welcome to the presentation on basic addition. I know what you're thinking, Sal. Addition doesn't seem so basic to me. Well, I. I Why do you think kids don't like doing the homework? What should I do to make my kids do the homework? It must be because, unlike stories and movies, solving the homework problems does not result in unexpected revelations. Homeworks generally are presented in a piece of paper with a requirement for solutions. For a child, the piece of paper is equally useful with the problem solutions, as it is without them. The best what you can do to make your kids do the homework, is to make the piece of paper more useful with the solutions than it is without them. For example, if the correct answers to the homework problems revealed the location of a toy that your kid wanted badly, So, I would imagine that everyone watching this believes 1 plus 1 equals 2 is really true, but have you ever thought about how we know that and whether we can know that? And so to start this discussion... Welcome to the video on basic subtraction. Let's do a little bit of review of basic addition first. If I said 4 plus 3, what did this mean? 4 plus 3. What did that equal? Well, there were a couple of ways we could have viewed this. We could have said I had four of something. Let's say I had four circles, or I don't know, I had four lemons for, for breakfast. So, Welcome to the presentation on level two addition. Well, I think we should get started with some problems, and hopefully as we work through them, you'll, you'll uh, have an understanding of, of how to do these types of problems. Let's see. I'll make sure the pen tool is correct. Let's say I had uh, 11 plus 4. So at first you'd say, hey, Sal, you know, 11 plus 4, I've never, you know, I don't know how to add two digit numbers yet. Well, there's a couple ways we can think about this. First, I'll show you um, how all you have to know is how to add one digit numbers, and you could use something called carrying to solve the whole problem. And then we'll actually try to visually represent it to show you how you could actually do this type of problem in your head as well. So what you do with these types of problems is you first look at 